Oh, wow. Yeah, so I guess the hero went ahead and stomped you and sent you back here. You gotta forgive me, Count. I failed you. I never felt less chunky in my life. Bleh. So our hero is real, yes. A force to be reckoned with. <laughs> Nastasia, the prophecy. Consult to learn where the hero will go next. We will lay a devious trap for him and bring him to his very knees. Bleh. Yeah, um, I already sent Mimi to a site picked for that purpose. This pleases Count Black. Excellent work, Nastasia. I have granted Mimi powers potent enough to ensure that she will obliterate this hero. Yes, he will be helpless against her. I depart. Alert Count Black when this hero is no more. Bleh heh heh heh. Black. Yeah, I'll fire off a memo on that, but for now, we have another item on the agenda. Oh, Chunks, you got a second? Yeah, so some minions in the Bowser organization are still resisting assimilation? So I'm heading out to squash the resistance, and while I'm gone, I want you to stay here. Yeah, you just sit tight and think about your recent job performance, okay? Aw, oh, I... God, this really tweaks my chin hairs. <laughs> Poor old chunks. Poor o chunks. Yeah. Hmm? Well, this is the part where we get to play as Peach, and she can float. What? How did I end up napping here? Wait. Didn't that nasty Count Blood try to make me marry Bowser? And then Luigi. He. Luigi. Bowser. Anybody there? There's a long way and an easy way in the next chapter? Hmm, interesting. No, you're the only one left the wedding, partly left standing, it looks like. Was oh, this the talking Goomba? It's the talking Goomba. No, it's the Hammer Brothers. Or the Koopa Bros, or whatever. So there's more than one way? I, I forget what the next chapter is, so I guess we'll see. So you finally woke up, huh, Princess? Oh, you guys. You all right? Yeah, but who knows what happened. That was one crazy wedding. Can't even find his groomness. You remember King Bowser? Oh, and that guy with the mustache. I think he had a green tux on or something. Yeah, Luigi. That's the guy. We don't know where he ended up either. Thing is, most of us minions got all brainwashed by that black guy's assistant. Everybody's half nuts. It's not safe here. We've got to clear this area now. The easy way to, to Google the answer. I don't know. I can't remember what the next chapter is. Is there more than one way to do it? Hmm. Private Koopa here will escort you guys. Make a break for it. What about you? What am I gonna do? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go help my men. King Bowser would burn me to a crisp if I left him. Leave no Koopa behind. Good luck out there, princess. Hail Bowser! Farewell. Okay, lady, we gotta evac this zone. Let's roll. And we're off. Glad you're enjoying the stream, Travis. Good to know. Also, Wolfven, did I properly welcome you to the stream? If not, then welcome. I can't remember. But yeah, it's good to have you all here, including the Lurkers. The Lurkers are always appreciated as well. Anyway, all hail the glorious Count. Do not resist. Submit to his rule. You will love it. Seems legit. What's this insubordination, Johnson? I am your captain. Drop and give me 20. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna have to tell you that your orders mean nothing. See, they've already sworn eternal allegiance to Count Black, okay? And now you need to... You need to, too. So, I'll just go ahead and pencil you in for a 10 o'clock brainwashing. You just messed with the wrong Koopa. I serve Bowser. You tell this count! Here! Hail, Black. Hmm, yeah, there. Isn't that better? So, listen, there are still a few minor problems that... Minor... Few problem minions that haven't sworn allegiance. You, be a lamb and round them up for me, Kay? Thanks. Yes, ma'am. 
And just like that, brainwashed. I snap better with my right hand, even though I'm a lefty, I think, but whatever. Oh man, this is going downhill fast. You see that? They even broke the captain. Look, lady, if they find us, it is game over. We gotta clear this area. Stat. We going in here? Did I go back? I just went back, didn't I? Good job, Spork. You're so good at navigation. I mean, I did sit through a cutscene, but still, should have known that I just came out that way. There's a really big door. Koopa, where are you going? Are you just standing there? Sorry if I'm short with you, I don't want to freak you out, but I'm sort of freaking out. It's alright. I'm floating, I don't know why I'm floating, I just wanted to. Wait, there's a door here, but there's also some more stairs down there. Which way do you go first? Does it matter? This isn't even a proper chapter, right? So there's not really any easy or hard way for this, I would imagine. Not even any enemies in this segment. It's kind of just story-based. No, no, dead end! Oh no! Well, staying here won't do us any good. Let's turn around and keep looking. Turn back? Yeah, no. Your friend there had it right. This is your dead end. Oh, wrong voice. Oh well. Who are you, anyway? Find cover, lady. I'm trained to handle scum like this. Bjort! Suddenly sunglasses. Deal with it. All hell count black. I've never played Thousand Year Door. I should get on that at some point. Wow, Princess, you sure are lucky. I thought the wedding explosion finished you. Yeah, but this is the end of the road, and your luck runs out right here. It's time you came on over and got with the program. Come and serve the Count. Never! Yeah, that's great and all, but my hypno powers kinda say otherwise. Just sit tight a sec, okay? Because I've got to brainwash you real quick. I just gotta brainwash you real quick. Wait, what? Whoosh! What? That wasn't on my schedule. Where'd she go? Well, that's really not a deal breaker. Our prophecy fulfillment plan is running smoothly. We have no need for her. Yeah, and it doesn't matter where she runs since all worlds are about to fall. I remember that day well. The room was warm. The whole place was at peace. Uh, uh. You're awake at last. Where am I? Is this a human's home? Blech. Don't wiggle like that. I found you at the cliff base. You took quite a fall. You're a human, correct? I don't repulse you? I am a, of the tribe of darkness. Why would that matter? Anyone with a heart would not ignore an injured soul. That was the day our paths crossed. That day. That was the day our tragedy was set in motion. I don't even know the full story on that, but I guess I'll find out. I don't even know who's talking in those text things. You can get a pure heart, you can choose to visit sp 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 specific sessions in each, each chap 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 chapter. First to Merlin's place. Of course. Remember a few times I had a hard time finding the heart pillars to put all the pure hearts in. But maybe that won't happen this time. I think this is like the only Paper Mario game I've ever played and I haven't finished it. Kinda sad, I guess. You return so soon? I can see from your faces that it went well indeed. Let's head back to my house so you can tell the details. Please, step right in. Oh boy. Definitely gonna save. So how was it, dear friends? Did you find a pure heart? Yeah. Yes, indeed. Oh, such pure brilliance! This is a true piece of the one true purity heart. And I'm getting tired, but oh well. Yes, we met Merlumina, she gave it to us. 
But what? Lady Merlumina? You were well met. She's an ancestor of mine. She was the one who wrote the Light Prognosticus to counteract the Dark One. Merlumina and those who followed her built this town. They are why we are here. M Master Merlin? B -b bad news! Who goes there? Oh, you. What is it? Get a hold of yourself, lad. You see? Um, 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 A girl fell out of the sky! What? A girl fell out of the sky? What in the worlds? I don't know. Just please, get on the elevator and come up there to see her. So it shall be. And you, Mario, come along. We may need your presence as well. I like his swirly mustache. It's, like, absolutely fabulous. I'd grow a mustache like that if I could. Maybe. And then everyone would look at me strange and be like, Why is your mustache in 2D? I'd be like, I don't know. I don't know why I saved again, but you know. Obsessive compulsive saving disorder. Where was I supposed to go? Was I supposed to go here? I forget. Did she fall, like... Where did she fall at? Was it near the doors? This is not where the doors are, man. This is flip side third floor. Oh, I went the right way. There's Merlin right there. Okay. Um, yeah, so I was just looking up the tower and she fell out of nowhere. Hmm, she does not look at all familiar to me. Who could this be? What's the matter? Oh. Princess Peach? So this is the princess that Count Bleck kidnapped? Yeah. Yep. Indeed. Well, the poor girl seems to have had a rough time. Of that we can be sure. She doesn't appear to be conscious. And she is shivering uncontrollably. What could the problem be? Oh, I know. Mario. You must go to the chef named Saffron on the first floor of Flips. Flip, 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 I am sure she knows a warm and revitalizing recipe for this poor girl. Once she revives, we will be able to ask Princess Peach exactly what happened. Now off with you. Find Saffron the chef on the first floor. Okay. This is probably the part where we need the fire burst. I bought that thing way too early. And somehow I have two of them. I'm not sure why. But, you know, that happens. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. This is the second floor. We gotta go down to the first floor. We gotta find an arrow pointing downward. That one points upward, so that's not it. Here we go. Because I think you need a fire burst to do the thing. And the last time I was playing this... On file number four, I randomly bought one for the heck of it, and I didn't even know I would need it. Then I ended up needing it, so this time I remember to definitely buy one. Is this set from the chef's place? Even if not, it might be worth checking out. So this is definitely not it. Have you met my Walter? The old dear, his eyesight is going, I'm afraid. He can't make faces out, and he tends to yell a fair bit when he's hungry. I have to admit, though, when he gets hopping mad, he's mighty hunky. Good grief. Too much information. We're on the first floor already, right? If I do this, I'll go down to the basement. I'm probably not supposed to do that. This has gotta be it. That's, there's a cooking pot on the door. This has to be it. Yep. It's the girl with the spoon. Welcome to Sweet Smiles! Oh, sugar, our dishes will turn that little frown right upside down. What? A friend of yours is out cold? Oh, mercy. Well, listen here, sugar. She sounds like she needs some spicy soup. All I need is a fire burst to make a pot of soup that'll warm her up in a jiffy. Some stores sell fire bursts, so just check the shelves wherever you like to shop. You bring me one sugar and I'll make you some tasty spicy soup. But oh my, looks like you already have one. How convenient. I have two of them, I don't know why, I only bought one. But you know. So sure, you want me to create a dish with that for you? Of course. Make the spicy soup. One spicy soup coming right up. Welcome to Cooking with Saffron. Ooh la la yum, put it in your tum. Is 
Sorry about the wait, but it turned out just right. Wait, that was fast. If I could make soup that fast, I'd be, you know, some kind of wizard. This ought to wake that sleeping beauty of yours, sugar. Get to her just as quick as you can. Ooh. Excuse me. We gotta go back up now. Back up to the top. Or whatever. Boing. I save whenever I can, so why not? There we go. The cool thing is it saves instantly, which is nice. Have you ever noticed how Mario Sunshine and Mario Galaxy, they have like this delay when saving for no apparent reason? I don't know why that is. It says saving, please wait, but it makes you wait for no reason. Because even on a fast hard drive, emulating the game, it still takes that delay for some reason. I'm not sure why it does that. Wasn't she up here? Or was this not it? Maybe I totally misunderstood. Oh, walk off the right side? Okay, we'll do. I know it's a long fall, but it's... Yeah, I've done this before. You know, if there's one thing I'm bad at, it's navigating flip side and later flop side. But hey, I guess we're good. Uh. Oh, it seems to have worked. Hmm, I feel like I just ate the most delicious thing. I haven't had a dream about such tasty food in ages. Hi. Oh, Mario, you're okay. But where exactly are we? This is Flipside. Um, okay, and who are you? My dear, I am called Merlin, and that is what is known as a pixel. Her name is Tippy. Come, let us adjourn to my house. I would be grateful if you would tell us more there. Yeah. Like, is walking off the right side the only way to do that, or is that just a handy shortcut? And then before I knew it, I awoke and saw Mario, you, and Tippy. Oh, okay. So, like, this is way off topic, but have you ever tried Lay's ketchup chips? I haven't, but I have heard of them before from someone else who was Canadian who I used to talk to on a messenger years ago. Yeah, I never did try those. I don't think we have them here in the USA. Or the US. Whatever. In basically not Canada. Well, my dear, this is most assuredly a tale of woe and troubles. Oh, Mario, what do you suppose happened to Luigi and Bowser? No idea. Mm, I suppose you're right. There's just no way to know. I just hope they're safe. Merlin, what should we do next? And one pure heart shall lead the way to the next, so it is written. There are still more heart pillars to be found in Flipside, young ones. When you find the next heart pillar, you must set a pure heart in it. And when you do so, a door to the world containing the next pure heart will appear. So on to world two. Oh boy. My intuition tells me the next door may lead you to the mysterious Merli. Like Bestovius and I, Merli is one of the ancients. We are like long lost cousins. Yes, I have heard that Merli has long guarded an ancient and sacred secret treasure. Whatever. If my instincts are correct, it may be the next pure heart we seek. I must tell you, the light prognosticus also speaks of her magical powers. So we just need to find this Merli person, is that it? Yep. Oh, how are you going as well? You should not tax yourself. You've only just recovered. And it may be dangerous. This is Peach we're talking about. She's basically a god, according to game theory, or a goddess. Well, I can't just sit here and let everyone else go off to save the worlds now, can I? After all, the void that is spreading in the sky is my fault. Mine and Bowser's. So I'm going, and that's final. I've made my decision. Peach has joined your party. Now you can control not just Mario, but Princess Peach as well. And you press a button to switch characters or something, probably. It's in the menu. You need to find the next heart pillar, of course. Ooh, this princess is headstrong, to be sure. How very refreshing. I insist that you take this. You got an old key. 
There are secrets in this town that even I do not know. This may be one of the keys to uncovering them. Quite literally, in fact. Please use this key wherever it fits. My intuition tells me you should be able to use it very near my house. I will continue to read the light prognosticus and look for any clues that may help. I am sure that musty old tome still has much to teach us. Yes, much indeed. Now Mario, Princess Peach, do all you can to stop the Count Evil's plans. Okay, thanks, bye. The Evil Count's plans, blah, blah, blah. Let's go, Mario. Come on, Tippy. Yes. Onward to victory. Also save. You can use your umbrella in a few ways. Press and hold the jump button while jumping to float. Press down to shield yourself. Change character. Choose him or her on the menu screen. Cool. Just a quick save. If I can use this key near his house, is that what I'm supposed to do next? I actually don't remember. Like, is there something to be found by flipping? Well, there's a... It's right there, isn't it? Alright, well, that's gotta be it, then. No? Old key? Yep, that's it. Oh, cool. I crossed over. I wanna read that sign. What's that sign say? Flip side, outskirts ahead. Monster advisory. Good grief. No need to get violent. There's like nothing over here that I can do yet. Oh, cause you need Boomer to blow this up. I remember that much. You need a bomb, basically. So, that's okay. We'll be back for that. I'm letting my thing recharge. That didn't take too long. On to the outskirts, then. Do, 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 do. The music is fantastic in this game, by the way. I don't know if it was orchestrated or not, or if it was just MIDI, but it sounds good either way. Which is nice. Is there anything cool over here? I guess not. We'll go, we'll go down the pipe. Ketchup chips. Yeah. I've been wanting to try them. But they don't happen yet. But if there's one thing I can't stop eating once I start, it's ginger snaps. Oh my gosh, ginger snaps are so good. Also, ginger is good. I like ginger. Remember, I bought one of these sushi things from, like, the deli at Walmart or whatever, and it wasn't even real si real sushi. It was imitation crab, but it came with raw ginger, and I think that was the best part, really. I like raw ginger. It's pretty good. Feeling stumped? Try flipping. It's pretty basic. Basically... Basically basic. It's the basic mechanic of the entire game. Flipping! Are you an Octorok? Go back to Ocarina of Time where you belong. Or at the very least, the Zelda franchise. Don't know what you are. Just through here. Oh. Okay, it's not that easy. I can't jump up. Why can't I jump up? That is so weird. I have to go up on the other side, don't I? Well, that would make sense, because you can... No? The thing is up there. Unless that's not one I'm supposed to... Oh, I know what I have to do. I have Peach. Duh. She has to float. That's why these platforms are here. I figured it out. We're good. So then I press these two buttons at the same time, switch characters, and float. Yeah, because whenever you get a new character or, or pixel, you have to use them a lot. Or at least right away. You have to use them right away. That's how you solve puzzles. It's pretty basic stuff, I suppose. Okay, Twitch says I'm offline again, which is weird, but no drop frames, so I know things are working. The dashboard just says offline. That's so weird. It does that from, does that all the time. It must not mean anything. I guess the door to the second world is open. Good grief. 